Basic Pump Modelling In Pipe Flu Expert, a pump can be added to a model in three ways. The first is to click the pipe to highlight it, and then click the Add Edit Pump button in the pipe pane. The number of pumps currently on the selected pipe is displayed on the Add Change Pump button. Or again, click on the pipe to highlight it, but then right click to select the Add Edit Pump from the pop up menu. The third way you can add a pump by selecting the Add Pump tool from the toolbar. Notice the pump cursor appears. Then click on the pipe that the pump is to be added. The pump is always positioned at the start of the pipe. Pipe Flow Expert will now ask if we want to enter the pump data. Clicking Yes adds the pump to the system and opens the pump data screen. The pump data screen gives you many options to define and customise your pump. You can enter a name into the pump name field as well as select pump icon, colour and size. The image does not affect any of the pump's properties or values. The elevation field is automatically populated and set to be the same as the elevation at the node at the start of the pipe. If the node's elevation is updated later on, then the pump's elevation will automatically be updated to match the value before the system is calculated. You can use the pump data screen to choose one of three pump types to be modelled. These types include a fixed flow rate pump, such as piston, gear or peristaltic pump, a fixed head pump or compressor, or a centrifugal pump that runs off a of flow versus head curve. We will discuss all three pump types in greater detail in later videos. Using the pump data screen, we can also specify the preferred operating region of flow at best efficiency. We are also given some other options, including delete pump, which removes the pump from the pipe currently selected in the drawing plane, and graph options. This allows the creation of additional data curves and adjustments of ISO efficiency lines. Pipe Flow Expert also gives you options to open the pump database, add pump to the database, import a curve image and create a pump data sheet. The pump database can be used to search for pumps that match a set of specific criteria, which include flow and head requirements within a given speed range, which we will again explore this later in this pump series. Additional pump information such as the pump catalogue, manufacturer, pump type, motor RPM, pump size, stages and notes fields can all be provided. The pub data screen also provides us with helpful tools for view data, such as the MPSHR and efficiency percentage for a certain flow or fluid head. Just type the flow rate into the flow field and click calculate. You can also view different graphs by altering the speed and diameter using the up and down arrows. Thanks for watching part one in this pump modelling series and keep a lookout for more videos to come. Download your free trial of Pipeflow Expert today at www.pipeflow.com.